Guys, welcome to Ukraine. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, 48 prisoner exchanges have taken place. 2,598 Ukrainian servicemen and civilians have returned home. According to the Ukrainian Parliament Commissioner for Human Rights, about 25,000 civilian Ukrainians can be considered missing under special circumstances, which means that they are being held hostages in Russian captivity. Civilians who were captured, they were actually deprived of liberty. They are pure victims of this aggression, and to say that they should be exchanged or otherwise treated as prisoners of war is fundamentally wrong. They should be released immediately, because they are like victims of terrorists who have been taken hostage, and asking to let us exchange those people is also a wrong approach. It is more difficult to return captured civilians to Ukraine than servicemen, experts say. Therefore, disregarding the standards of international humanitarian law, the Russian Federation often fails to register Ukrainian soldiers as prisoners of war. These people are in a position when they are hidden from any control, from control by Ukraine, controlled by the International Committee of the Red Cross. They are transported from one colony or pretrial detention center to another, and there are cases when at some stage they may be uncovered. But in general it is a problem for Ukraine that it's impossible to establish how many prisoners of war are in Russian captivity. The improper treatment of prisoners of war is a violation of international humanitarian law. The Russian side does not provide Ukrainian servicemen held in captivity with significant food, medical care and basic living conditions. The Prosecutor General's Office of Ukraine claims that absolute majority of Ukrainians in Russian captivity are subjected to torture, rape and threats of sexual violence. There are a number of facts and evidence of violation of the Geneva Convention with regard not only to the access of the Red Cross, but also to the provision of necessary medical care, food, nutrition and many other things. All facts of violation of the Geneva Convention and violation of the rights of prisoners of war are being studied and recorded both by Ukrainian law enforcement agencies and human rights activists and are being passed on the international community. According to the Ukrainian Parliamentary Commissioner for Human Rights, Moscow has illegally removed more than 150,000 Ukrainian miners from the temporarily occupied territories since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Children are taken away from their parents and from orphanages. At the moment, we have developed a mechanism to return Ukrainian children. It contains several key stages. Development of a mechanism for obtaining list of children, verification and updating of information, documentation of crimes and identification of new circumstances, psychological rehabilitation of children after return, establishment of a special center for rehabilitation, and opening of humanitarian corridors. Dmitro Lubinets, Human Rights Commissioner of the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine at the Yalta European Strategy Summit. The return of everyone, Ukrainian prisoners of war, civilians and all political prisoners, is the force point of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's peace formula. Only an exchange in the format of all for all will be able to guarantee peace. Without it, the end of the war is impossible. It's not a question of whether it's possible. The question is how. And Ukraine will certainly find the way to bring everyone who has been held in Russian captivity back home. We are dealing with the aggressor state that often aid disregards international law or manipulates it. The preparation for each exchange is a complex process that has many different factors, in particular the fact that the price of life and the value of life in Ukraine and on the territory of the so-called Russian Federation, it is very different. In order to bring back all captured and deported Ukrainians, the main directorate of intelligence continues to work on organizing an exchange. Good news was already announced, which means that more Ukrainians will be able to return home from Russian captivity. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Larisa Zubenko, UATV News.